So you wanted to create an actual page template directly here into Shopify. I'm going to be showing you how to get started in a very easy way. So the very first thing I wanted to do is to have an actual Shopify store. I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description so we can all get started totally for free. Once we are directly here into the dashboard of Shopify, what you wanted to do is to focus directly into the online store. So here what you wanted to do is to access your theme files. So once you are into the navigation of the online store, then click directly here and the themes. Directly here and the themes, you can go directly into actions and go for edit code. Now here into edit code, what you can do is to create a new template. So directly here into the theme editor, on the template directory, click into add a new template. And here it's going to be asking you to choose the type of template you wanted to create. For instance, a page template, you'll be prompted to give it a name. So this name will be used to identify the template in the Shopify administrator. So name is something relevant like the custom conduct or whatever. After creating your new template, this will be open into the editor so you can start customizing and using an HTML file and the liquid code. So Shopify template languaging, for example, they might uh, want to add specific styles including unique selling points or integrate their party plugins. So if you don't know how to add liquid tags for dynamic content, uh, for example, uh, adding section header to include customizable headers, you can create sections here. But if you don't know absolutely anything about how to add in codes, what we can do is now to exit the actual coding. Since we have already added an actual template, we're going to go here instead of three dots and add a code, go directly into customize. Now here into customize, I'm going to go here into my upper side and locate the actual new template that we have just created which in this case is going to be added directly into pages or into my products. So as you can see here into products, I do have the actual template that I was assigned, which in this case is going to be flamed. So I choose this option and you might be seeing that we actually don't have, we have an actual product information of a template of a product. So as you can see, I have the product information, the title, the price, the brand picker, the quantity selected by button, description, shelf, and much more elements. So what we can do is to add the lead or make stuff look a little bit different when we wanted to edit the elements directly here into our product template. So uh, now what I want to be doing here is to add the lead or let's say modify the elements that we don't or we do want to see directly into our store. So as you can see here, we have an actual product template, we have an actual image and we have more tiny images in here the description into the right side and a little bit down here we have more images and lastly the related products so what i'm going to be doing here is to add or delete those elements for example for instance what we did here is to choose the product information directly here into the product information instead of choosing the stacked of the desktop layout as it was before we change it directly here into the thumbnails it's going to be much more faster and more organized when they click directly into our product or we can choose the thumbnail carousel now it's a little bit much more organized right now here where it says desktop media position you can choose from left directly here into right but in this case i'm going to just leave this into left now you can see that we have the section padding the theme settings and the custom CLS file we're going to leave this like that go back into product information and here you can see that we have the title the price the brand pickup the size the quantity and add to cut now here, what I'm going to be doing here is to choose the actual price and of course, send it all my way down. If I want to add a new block, I can choose, for example, an SKU, an inventory status, the custom liquid collapsible roll pop-ups. So for example, having a pop-up link text, for example, here, let's say I choose check out our discount footwear. Now, if I want to add a new section of my product, I wanted to go here into add section. So what I can do is to add much more stuff, for example, like a quick order list, a featured product, a featured collection, and a slideshow, and a college, even much more elements added directly into the contact form. Once I have here to save, let's go back here into the products, which you can just enable the actual template of the product page that you have just added. Assuming, for example, you have created an actual template of an actual product, what I can do is to choose the product that I wanted to get started with. Let's say, for example, this one. And here that I choose now this product, I go and scroll all the way down. And here I choose the theme template. Directly here into the theme template, I change from default directly here into flame. And lastly, I hit into save. I go back into the product section 
and I make sure that this actually had made the changes that I had done directly here into the editor of my Shopify. And that is actually it. We have now guys successfully created and applied a custom page template into Shopify. So with this new template, you can tailor the layout, the content specific pages to better meet your business needs. You can do exactly the same thing with not only the product pages, but into much more. For example, the contact forms, much more pages, blogging, home pages, uh, and much more elements as you're just getting started here. Collections, blogs, and much more elements. So guys, with that being said, if this tutorial was helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe for more Shopify tips and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully with all of that being said, we can see you to a brand new section of TaxPress. See you next time.